What's up, everybody? It's March 22nd, 2021 in Big Bear Lake. Sorry to be annoying you guys so much. But uh, out of nowhere, <laughs> it's not going to be much, but this is what I do, you know? So I'm glad I get to do this again. Um, out of nowhere, we got a little snow coming tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's, it's not going to be any accumulation, you guys. It's just a little bit of a disturbance coming through that's, that, that's just going to... You're probably not even going to see anything stick at all. But it's going to snow a little bit tomorrow morning, early. And uh, I just wanted you guys to know that. And since we haven't gotten a chance to get out to this side of town, I just thought I'd let you guys see what it's like over here in, in the, the furthest ends of Big Bear City as you head over towards Baldwin Lake here and Highway 38. Uh, we don't really have anything. I mean, look. Look at this. This is, this is incredible. It's incredible. Hardly any snow. And I know a lot of people don't don't really worry about the snow in town because you guys are going skiing and snowboarding, but dude, I'm tired of it. Seriously, man. This glare, I, I, I just, it's really pissing me off now. And I've tried to listen to James and do what James is asking. I've switched all my settings. Thank you, James. Um, I don't, I, I, what you told me to do is exactly what it said to do to avoid stuff like like that also that was one of the suggestions so thanks man um, I just don't know if it's just this time of the year or, or what but um, yeah guys so people usually are concerned about the snow on the ski slopes and stuff like that but for all of you that want to just bring your kids up here to play in the snow build snowman and stuff it's it's not looking too promising I mean look at this this is just knees are up you know what, let's turn down this street real quick. Because we, we don't need to go all the way out, out here. It's just going to be a similar situation. All right. Go up here and turn around. Wait, you know what, let's go in here. Forget it. Go into one of these, these neighborhoods that we haven't driven through just so you guys can check it out. Why not? And while we're going slow, I'm going to hold my hand out the window so we don't get glare. nice trailers in here you guys I haven't lived in a trailer before but if I had to not if I had to these are nice man these are really nice I totally live in here these are huge these are like way bigger than my house just with some of these roofs that are pretty flat I'd be a little bit worried about heavy snowfalls Hang on a second. That's a phone call from my doctor. No bueno. Hang on, guys. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. Ah. Such as life. Oh, well. Oh, we all make choices in life, people. Man, we got to deal with the consequences. Anyway. Um, let's see here. I'm talking health. Okay, so, yeah. We're back on Highway 38, you guys. This is... This is the second uh, most utilized entrance into town, Highway 38. And this is the road that starts down in the Mentone area. And if you continue going, it drops you off in Redlands and San Bernardino. But yeah, we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. And that's where you make a left, you guys, to head over to everything that you guys want to do. All the skiing, all the playing, all the restaurants, all the fun, all the resorts. All right. So yeah, and oh, you know, a lot of you are asking also about 
where to go to play in snow right now. This is the place that I suggest always, especially when we have no snow in town. It's called Big Bear Snow Play. It's in between Division Road and Stanfield Cutoff. And uh, it is, let's see. Yeah, in between Division Road and Stanfield Cutoff. Right next to Motel 6 or Motel 7. I, I always forget if it's Motel 6 or Motel 7. It might even be Motel 8, I don't know. I, yeah, I tell you guys all the time, but this is like my favorite view here. Living in one of those houses would be sick. Having that whole prairie out there just to play in and then your view is just the mountain resorts. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alright. Well anyway you guys, I hope you guys are having a good one. As I said, there's a, there's a chance we're going to get some snow tomorrow morning. Kind of came out of no, I wouldn't say nowhere, but it wasn't expected. Uh, there was a little moisture around, but we didn't expect to get any of it. And then last minute they decided that looks like we might get a little bit of it. come up here you could probably start coming up here in the middle of this week but the middle of next week will probably be a lot a lot better because that's that's gonna be when the resorts probably close and then it's the beginning of the transition phase from our winter sports up here to the spring and summer sports so um, yeah usually that's a very dead period like this time of day I could literally drive most of this boulevard without seeing any cars coming that way so for those of you that like that type of solitude, that's initially why I moved up here also, just to just to get away. And uh, yeah, so you guys wanna really get away and be in a quiet, quiet place, no traffic, nothing, come up here in like a week, week and a half. Middle of the week though. Um, weekends won't be that busy either, but they'll be a lot busier than the weekdays. So yeah, that's my suggestion. And it does feel like we are, we've got something you know, building up. It has that feeling like a storm's coming in. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna shut this off now, but just wanna let you guys know it's about to snow again and it's, there's not gonna be any accumulation, but just having the snow fall from the sky is just really, really, really cool. Peace out, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.